Then, about 25 million years ago, another little fellow pitched up on the scene. First thing I noticed about this is that he's kind of squished. Yeah? Well, unfortunately, this fossil was in a rock bed that moved, and it squished it out of shape. It was discovered by someone called Meve Leakey. There's a very famous family of archaeologists that mainly worked in East Africa. And this was found on the shores of Lake Nyasa. So this is Proconsul Nyasa. Also known as Proconsul Africanus. There's four different species separated by little skull changes. I don't know too much of those details, but I know this is one of Meve Leakey's finds. And this little guy arrived on the landscape about 25 million years ago. So I've leapt. 10 million years. Please forgive me because the fossil record is pretty patchy. We don't have many fossils from between that time period. But what I do understand is that this creature stayed on the landscape in slightly changing forms until 5 million years ago. So for 15 million years, creatures related to Proconsul Nyasse were running around on the African continent. To me, that's pretty impressive. I mean, we've managed two or three hundred thousand years and we're already getting it wrong. So I'm kind of hoping that we do better. Then again, maybe I'm not. But just as a, a little side note, Proconsul got its name because at the turn of the century, the turn of the last century, um, when they were busy naming all these fossils, a chimpanzee was in captivity in a Belgian zoo and he was called Consul. That was the name of the chimpanzee. And so the name Proconsul means before consul. They realized that this was a much older creature than the modern chimpanzee. So they called it Proconsul. That's where his name comes from. Here are our sort of portal. And please feel free to pass them around. Once they all come together, you can hang on to them or you can put them safely on the ground and we'll gather them up in a little while.